Now we're out of there. Perfect. Yeah, this is the perfect place to camp. Yeah, look how clear it's going to be. I know, it'll be perfect for stargazing tonight. Yeah, we're gonna see all the constellations. Orion, Taurus, Ursa Major. Oh wait, what's on the sky? It looks like a constellation, but that can't be right. It's the middle of the day. the sky out of the stars so who are you supposed to be mr. out of this world why I'm Ophiuchus the serpent bearer of Greek myth Ophiuchus no 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 off e you kiss Ophiuchus oh, okay. Okay. hold on how do we know you're a real constellation? How do we know you're not some space weirdo here to steal our camping equipment? Well, you're a stargazer, aren't you? You should have a list of the 88 official star constellations. Look it up on there. Huh. Okay. Let me take a look here. There we go. Let's see. Got my trusty flashlight. Hold that. Thank you. Okay. Got my camera that I'm totally going to use later. Hold that, please. All right. And hold on. There's a few more things in here. There's a few more things. Do -do -do. Shh. Thing doesn't really work. Ah, look at that. Glad I found this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh. Ah, there it is. Ophiuchus. And what would a space weirdo want with your camping equipment anyways? Gee, I'm awfully sorry about that space weirdo stuff. <laughs> How did you become a constellation anyways? Oh, you don't want to hear that story. Ah, oh, but we both love constellations. Please tell us. Yeah, please tell us. Well, if you insist. The story goes a little like this. It all started when my father, the god Apollo, decided that I should have a profession. Son, it's time you learned a trade. I found you someone who can teach you the arts of medicine. But who is this man who will teach me, father? He is no man. He is Chiron, the centaur. Yes, Chiron, the great teacher and most tolerant of the centaurs. He taught me how to heal and help people. I was so adept that I mastered the medicinal arts with ease. This pleased Chiron, but there was another who was most unsettled by my prodigal skills. The Lord of the Underworld, Hades. Hades took his grievances to his brother, Zeus, the King of the Gods. Becoming a master of all human healing arts. He is far too good. He may find a way to steal the dead from me and leave me powerless. You must do something to prevent this, to preserve the balance of life and death. I shall strike the boy down, for his knowledge is far too dangerous for the balance of life and death. And so he threw a thunderbolt straight into my heart, killing me instantly and painlessly. However, Zeus was not without compassion. 
He claimed my body and my soul from the underworld and placed me into the stars where I would remain immortal, a healer to the gods. I hold Serpent, the great serpent, to prevent him from poisoning others in the night sky. And I stand on the back of Scorpius, the great scorpion, to keep him from poisoning Apollo, the great hunter. Thanks, Apiukis. Yeah, that was a great story. <laughs> yes, yes it was. But that's not all there is to my constellation. Check out these important science facts. The constellation Ophiuchus is formed primarily by its six major stars. Ras al Hag, Marfik, Yed Prior, Yed Posterior, Saibik, and Selbore. Here are a few interesting scientific facts about these stars in order of their apparent magnitude, or their size as we can estimate it from Earth. Contained within the constellation are seven messier objects, all of which are globular star clusters. The best time to view Ophiuchus is at 9 o'clock in the evening in the month of July, which just so happens to be an excellent month for camping. Wow! Well, I know which constellation we're going to be looking out for tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Which one? Orion? Taurus? Ursa Major? Isn't it obvious? The greatest constellation of them all! Ophiuchus! You tell me another and I'll rescue myself. That is a promise, Miss Rose, sister. Of course. Another plan. What do you say we cut the chit-chat a-hole? Huh?